People in Warren fight for their light as part of a massive $100 million mound road project. Several intersections are set to be streamlined and overhauled. Jason Coltorp is live at one such intersection in Warren, which was the focus of a meeting tonight with a team of engineers on this project. Jason. And Kimberly, you can see exactly why this is such a big deal. Even at 11 o'clock at night, not only is the traffic heavy, but when the light here at Arden and Mound Road turns red, cars still back up three and four deep. Now, the idea was under this plan to remove all lights at this intersection both ways to streamline traffic, keep it moving. But neighbors who live around here will be the first to tell you, you eliminate the traffic light you eliminate their chance of getting out on the mountain road in a timely fashion. Well, tonight they got some good news and some bad news. The St. Anne subdivision was ready for a fight tonight. A couple of us neighbors had sent messages to one another on Facebook. Our children handed out flyers. Neighbors Craig and Patty Bill and Melissa Gordon spread the word about tonight's meeting. Neighbors didn't even know that this was taking place. So we made sure that everybody was notified. About the massive Mound Road construction project that's streamlining things from 11 Mile all the way to M59. I have a lot of concerns on how this is going to impact the safety of a lot of people. On the roads. The plan was to eliminate a light at Arden Road, the only way in and out for people in that subdivision. What's your plan on allowing us to get out? You know, we sit sometimes at that light in excess three or four times before we can even get out with a light there. 150 or so neighbors were ready to be heard, but were immediately notified there had been a change. All traffic signals would stay. Um, we'll have detection be placed on Arden Avenue approaches to allow green time on Arden Avenue, even if pedestrians are not present. However, the intersection will see a major change. The ability to cross mound going east and west will now end, meaning all traffic would now flow onto Mound Road, which many neighbors don't like. They lose the crossover in the name of safety, but overall it feels like a win after the neighborhood banded together. All the voices were heard and everybody got to speak their piece. I think I think that that was yes. very good, very good. And actually, the ace in the hole here appears to be when Gordon wrote a letter to Warren Mayor Jim Fouts earlier this week explaining the problem. Well, Mayor Fouts issued a statement saying he was against this, wanted the light to stay. 48 hours later, the light is back in the master plan. We're in Warren tonight. Jason Coulter, Local 4.